Dwight Stevenson was the guy who 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 did some of the things that you just you go whoa. To me, Dwight was the best center I've ever seen. He's one of those guys that if you stood in a line and you were shopping for groceries and you saw him, you go, there's no way he played. He was maybe 250 or something. But he did have exceptional quickness. What Dwight Stevenson can do was take his exceptional quickness and make phenomenal decisions in a millisecond. That's what the game's all about. It's your ability to make a decision under pressure. But the characteristic that set him apart, and it's only a few guys have it. Anthony Munoz had it. Dwight Stevenson had it. He could take what you have and use it against you. If you tried to play a little flat-footed and read him, well, then he'd get a quick step on you. If you tried to play him with power, he'd take a step back and take all of your power and neutralize it. And if you tried to play him by being more of a finesse guy, well, then he was strong enough to be able to use a combination of what he had to beat you. He would do some things to some players that you just watch the tape and you'd feel sorry for the other guy. I'm poor Fred Smurlis up in Buffalo, and Freddie was a heck of a player. The tough, hard-nosed, pro ball player, Dwight would make him look like a five-year-old. I mean, it was embarrassing. And I'd call Fred and, and he'd go, I don't know what he did, he did it again. <laughs> Dwight Stevenson's subtle brilliance didn't prevent him from being recognized as the game's premier center. He was named All-Pro five straight years. But as he was entering his prime, Stevenson's career was cut short by a knee injury. We were playing the New York Jets. We had the game pretty much under control. We were trying to run the clock out. We had like six minutes to go. And the running back, Troy Stravi, took the ball. And uh, he starts to the right, and he fumbles the ball, and the defensive back picks it up and, and starts toward the goal line. And I took like two or three steps, and somebody hit me. And when he hit me, he just caught me totally off guard. And I got my leg caught in an awkward way. But I didn't think my career was over with that night. I thought I would play again. It's like Gail Sayers. What he did, no one else could do. The only thing you'd like to have seen was a longer career so you could enjoy it more. Dwight was amazing.